Hey everyone, this is Geeky Ben here yet again. This time I'm at Kineticon. Now, do know I haven't been to this convention ever since 2015, so I decided myself, you know what? It's 2019, it's been a couple of years. Let's see what this convention has to offer, let's see what it improved, and let's see how much fun we can really have here. So right now I'm here in the game room of Kineticon. There's a lot of Japanese style arcade machines here. Whether you want to play fighting games, whether you want to play shooting games, they also have some free to play consoles areas set up. Let's check out the gaming action here on the floor. I'm here in the guest autograph section of Kineticon. They actually have in the gaming room area, you can see behind me the tables right here, but they have a staging area for the table and then another staging area for the big crowds right here, but they have a nice easy walkway. Personally, I like the system a lot because it's not in the dealer's room, which makes the room even more crowded and people line up here for their favorite guests to get an autograph and a picture. So above all else, Kineticon, points for that. So here at Kineticon, I'm in the tabletop gaming center area where people can freely come, pick out some games they want to play with other people here. A variety of tabletop games that we got going on here is basically a game for everyone. Just come in, group up, have fun. staircase that we all know. This staircase here at Kineticon is really iconic. A lot of cosplayers, a lot of congoers. I like to take a squat down there, sit down and relax. This is a really good meeting point in this area. I've had a lot of memories here too. And if you just sit down, you can just like, it's like a perfect place to people watch this whole convention. So right now I'm here outside the convention center. Now this is usually a popular area for cosplayers of the photo shoot. Down there in the staircase way, definitely popular photo shoot area. People are outside in the hot sun. Panda's kind of sweating, but a few years ago, this place was even much more busier than it was, but uh, it's just like getting some traffic. I know tonight here on Saturday night, it's gonna be packed for the fireworks. Now 
this is, we're in the end game. This is it. People are starting to do their last minute shopping here in the dealer's room. I really do support, you know, check out a lot of the artists at LA tables. There's some really great artwork there, but this is it. This is the final countdown. It's so weird. I hadn't been in this convention since 2015. That was the last time I was here. And to me, I'd always remember 2015 being one of Kineticon's greatest years. They had everything going for them. I will say this, that they've had um, a lot of things, you know, people say that Kineticon's been going downhill. And to my eyes, I've made a video stating that, yeah, they've been doing stuff I don't agree with. They could definitely, definitely improve in a couple of areas. But from this year, they have been improving. I've been noticing some subtle things here. I've been noticing other areas they've been improving in, but there's still more stuff that they could do. But overall, I am feeling kind of almost like a resurgence. Still though, it's moments like these make me sad because we gotta go back to our regular lives. We gotta go back to work and all that dandy stuff, but at least for the weekend, for the most part, it went by wicked quick. But I also had a lot of fun and I met some of my good friends again, so. Thank mm -hmm. you.